Hello guys, Mithrilla here, and I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but, well, things got really crazy there at the end of the school year, and, well, I decided that I wanted to spend my first real summer as a teacher with my kids, and now that we're kind of getting back into the school spirit, I thought it'd be a good idea to you know, maybe put some videos up. So, this game right here is the original Majesty. I'm actually playing the expansion, which is called the Northern, the Northern Expansion. So, this is what the game map looks like, if you've never seen this kind of game before. And each of these icons represents its own isolated storyline. Now, there, anything up above these mountains is part of the expansion. And if you ever decide that you want to get this, it is available on Steam, or um, I believe it's also available on good old games. And it's, it's been out for a long time, so it's probably pretty cheap. Um, if you have the option of getting kind of like the, the game of the year edition essentially with all the expansions um, and you want to be able to play all of these maps, uh, make sure that you're always playing under the northern expansion. Otherwise, you'll play under the original and then you'll decide you want to go under the expansion and you'll lose all your progress on these original quests. So it's just something that I've figured out and it's a little annoying, but that's okay. So we're gonna do kind of the tutorial here, which is called The Bell, The Book, and The Candle. And this is just to, so you can see Bring what the, the Highness, what yes, this wrong. guy. Someone has stolen the magic bell, the holy book, and the eternal candle. Right from under our noses, they were whisked away from the royal treasury by some scoundrel. We must do something to recover them. They are treasures beyond value. I love my steward. It's like Sean Connery, but lots younger. All right, so... Our goals, we need to recover the three items which were stolen from the palace. It also tells us that no warriors or wizards are available in this quest. And sometimes there will be, you know, weird little things like this where you can only have certain kinds of heroes. So let's go ahead and start the quest. Okay. So yeah, not exactly the best of graphics, but if we click on this, it'll give us some information about kind of what we're doing here. And because we're in the tutorial, there will be these little helpful things above a lot of our buildings. So, what buildings do we already have built? We have a couple of guard houses, which we can use to shoot arrows and do all kinds of nastiness. Uh, oh, we have a trading post, that's nice. Um, here's a blacksmith where we, where our heroes can upgrade their weapons. And, and here's the thing, we don't actually control our heroes in this game, which makes us kind of a unique idea. Instead, we recruit the heroes, and then we use things like bounties and their own <laughs> uh, basically how they're programmed to work to go through and do what you need them to do so it is definitely an interesting kind of management game so this healing post is basically a place where they can get potions blacksmith they can upgrade their weapons right now i only have a rogue skill and I'm going to go ahead and get arrows on all of my guard houses because it will automatically shoot arrows at baddies that decide they want to try and eat me. Okay. The local blacksmith offers new services. Yes, I, I do love the steward in this game. <laughs> so once you get four heroes, you can upgrade the palace. And upgrading the palace gives you access to more buildings, like magic and things like that. Now, we don't have wizards in this game. Um, oh yeah, I should probably explain this little guy. He's a tax collector. He's going to go around and as our heroes spend money staying at the inn or upgrading their weapons, then they will pay money and that money goes back to us and that's how we can afford everything. Oh, lovely. I'm going to upgrade that. Uh, I'm going to build a ranger skilled because rangers have this natural inclination to go and explore and i really need to be able to um oh yeah rogues are cowards um rogues are rogues are much more likely to take advantage of bounties because they're naturally greedy but rangers are more likely to just go and explore and i need to i need to open up this map i need to see what's going on so i'll max out my ranger skill and 
that way I can start seeing more of the map. So if you look up here, you can see that the rangers are already starting to explore the map. daughter's playing with a new game. Okay. So let's get all these rangers out, and as you can see, looking up at the map, they're starting to spread out and really starting to look around at the map. Because I need to find... Where in the heck all my stuff is. Um, I can't upgrade to level 3 yet, because I need 4 more heroes. And I can get that in a variety of fashion. So I already have a ranger skilled and a rogue skilled. But I also have access to these temples. And I'm not going to build a temple just now. And before I do that, I'm going to build a marketplace. Because while I have my one place that makes healing potions, I should probably have more. Ooh, I got a helpful message. We have found an abandoned keep. So, <laughs> he's going through and pillaging. But the only way to actually get our candle back is. Not right now, honey. You can't play that game. The marketplace has been built. Now, like I was saying before, my decided that she needed some help with something. Um, uh oh, one of my rooks died. Uh, that'll be a quick little victory. Um, in order for them to actually destroy this keep, you need to put a bounty on it. So. An attack flag, that means that whoever destroys it gets 100 gold. And the rogues will go ahead and take care of that. They're usually pretty good. Because one of my rogues died, I should recruit another rogue. It's always a good idea to keep your blacksmith as upgraded as possible. Same with your marketplace, because that is how you make the big bucks. In order for you to afford some of the more expensive buildings. So, all the rogues have decided that they want the bounty, so they'll take care of that. Oh, yep, that is all of them now. <laughs> I love rogues. <laughs> and as you upgrade buildings, they will get more hit points, they'll get more things that they can do. And while it is kind of expensive to invest in some of that stuff, it actually is very well worth it. Um, Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Hmm, now is a good time for me to figure out what my other because these temples, they're kind of funny. Um, they... They can lock each other out. So we've got kind of our chaos temples, we've got our order temples, and then we have burn everything to the ground temple. Um, so I, I think that I will go with... Well, that's actually just... I don't usually build them. But the temple to Krom is kind of fun because it'll lock out all the other temples. I usually prefer to have two temples available as opposed to just one. But they're fun. And this is, you know, this is the tutorial map, so we can kind of get away with that. And if you're hearing all the plane noise in this recording, that's, you know, kind of inevitability of where I live. Um, the I live by an airport where they have a lot of military planes, and they like to take off right above our house and rattle the windows and freak out the cats. So, 
I'm just kind of used to it, but if you hear it in the background, it's, well, there's not that much I can really do about it without recording at like three in the morning, so. Uh. Okay, let's get some barbarians here. Meanies. Mm. Oh, there goes my ranger. He decided to take on a few too many of those. Whoa, what killed him? Oh, a troll. That was ambitious. Normally I'll f I will have found almost everything by this point, because this is a pretty small map, but I guess that my rangers are hitting some snags, namely hydras, or what are these things? Medusas. Run! Oh, you have a healing potion. You're still going to die, though. And see, I'm not actually controlling him. If I had been controlling him, he wouldn't have done that. Oh, there's the candle. That's kind of cool. I forgot that it was an artifact. It'll get picked up by somebody. So, the ranger's gonna... Okay, can you guys just not take on the spiders all by yourself? You're gonna die. I'll start prepping for that. By choosing the Temple of Kralm, I did lock myself out of healing spells, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. it. It may seem, looking at this game, that there's a lot to manage, but there's actually not. Um, and part of it, I think, is just that I'm really used to the controls. I have played a lot of this game. I have actually gone through and beat every scenario. So, you know, the, I'm very used to the mechanics, and so it looks as though I'm, you know, it may, it may look complicated, but I'm hoping that since I am very familiar with the controls that I'm making it look a little more manageable. So, the door is just offered to join my domain, it's because my blacksmith is really far upgraded. The elves already offer to join my kingdom. I usually prefer the dwarves, to be perfectly honest. Oh, there's the altar. The local blacksmith offers new services. Okay. Let's let the rogue skill take care of that. And that's why I love barbarians. There we go, there's the last one we need. Let's put a 
word flag on it. Once this is destroyed, we're actually done with the scenario. This makes a nice little tutorial map. That's why I like it, especially since it's well, probably been about six months since I've played this game at all. So let's just watch them go about their business. And that's, this is why I really like this game, is because it's non-traditional. I don't have to control really any of these heroes. I'm just taking advantage of their pre-built AI. And I'm just guiding them to do what I need them to do. And in the end, they're making the choice to do it. So that was the book, the bell, and the candle, the kind of the tutorial scenario for Majesty. And uh, I think I'm going to record a few more of these, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and end the video and just make a fresh one when I am able to go to the next scenario. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video of Majesty.